Welcome to how to create digital menu boards with PowerPoint by presentationpoint.com. Rather than showing this as a full slideshow, I'm going to show it right within PowerPoint since I will need to uh, show examples of what we're going to be clicking on during the presentation. So what is a digital menu board? It's really just a menu that's displayed on computer monitors or TV screens. It's commonly used in coffee shops and restaurants. It usually shows the pictures and prices of the menu items. Very easy to update uh, because you can do it right in PowerPoint. And it can also be connected to databases to automatically update menus across all your locations. Here's a daily menu on the right-hand side from micro used by Microsoft Dining Services uh, using our, our software add-ons. So what will you learn? So we're going to show you the exact steps to create a menu board like the one below. And we're also going to show you how to add pictures, pricing, and videos, and then how to connect it to a central uh, database. We'll also make this template available for you to download. So the first step is to open your PowerPoint and just create a brand new slideshow and create it as a blank slide when you do it. So you'll end up with a totally white screen. To color the background, you click on the design button up top. And then you can click on the Format Background button. And that gives you your background choices. You can choose either a solid fill or a gradient fill. And once you do these, you can choose from a color palette. If you're using a gradient fill, you also choose at each of the different stops. You also choose the color there as well, transparency. So that gives you your background color. Now, how do you add these boxes that we're using for menus? First step is it makes it easier if you turn on a grid to help you line them up. And to do this, you hold your shift key down and you hit F9. And you'll see that it gives you a grid that makes it easier if you want to be able to, to see where boxes are and line them up. To snap objects to the grid from the top, you go view. Then in the grid lines box, uh, Click here, and then you can choose Snap Objects to the Grid. So if you want it to be able to snap to there, and then click OK. So next, if you want to place a box somewhere, you just go to the top menu, click on Insert, and then you choose from the Shapes menu. You're going to choose Box, your rectangle shape if you want. Choose that, and then you can just drag it and put it you know, put, put the boxes wherever you want. To color the boxes, you click on a rectangle you'd like to, to uh, format, right click and choose uh, Format Shape, and then you see the menu comes up here, and once again you choose whether you want a solid fill or gradient fill, and what color you'd like to make it. And you see how easy that is to, to be able to change. If you'd like to make a rectangle transparent, you use the same option and you just right click and then you just make the transparency just change, you know, how transparent it's going to be. And that way you see it will pick up more of the background color from the back. Next, you can add images. Uh, now, a couple things here. If you want your images to be from a database, we'll show you how to do that afterwards. But for now, let's just assume you're going to do a simple menu where you're going to put the image of each one in and then put the text in. So once again, you go up to the top, you go Insert, and then you click on Pictures, and you just browse to your hard drive until you find the picture you want, and you just choose to insert it. You can copy an image uh, just by holding the control key down and clicking and dragging the image as well. Next, if you want to add text, once again, you go up to the top, choose insert, then you can add a text box, and then you can just draw where you want the text to go. So you can see we've created a number of text boxes on the screen. Each of these is a text box. And in there, you can just type whatever text you want just by typing on the keyboard. If you'd like to change the font size, etc., just right click and you see you can, you know, make the size bigger, smaller, change the color of it, uh, change whether it's bold, italic, etc. 
can even add a video to your menus as well. Uh, you can just uh, once again choose insert and then instead of choosing um, pictures you go over to the right and you can choose to add a video. And once again you browse your hard drive and then put the video there. So in essence this gives you your menu board. Now how do you connect this to data? What if you wanted, what if you had a uh, hundred locations across the country and you wanted to update the pricing in the menu items for all of them from one central source? So to do that you can connect your um, menu board to a to a, you know, to a database, to some sort of a data source so it will automatically be able to update. This lets you change all the menu items via the internet. We use a plugin called DataPoint, uh, which is available from presentationpoint.com, and it's a PowerPoint plugin, so it just makes it really easy to connect your menu board to a database. You can download this plugin at presentationpoint.com. Another useful plugin as well if you want to play uh, your menu board across multiple locations is iPlayer, also available from the same place. So to create a data source, the first thing we need to do is, is do we need to create it uh, before we can connect to it. Your data source can be held in an Excel spreadsheet, Microsoft Access database, an XML file, it can be an RSS feed, an Oracle database, MySQL, so there's many different sources. So here's an example of just a really simple Excel spreadsheet that I've created which gives the item name, single burger, double, double, double burger, chicken burger, the description of it, the price, and even a link to the images so that uh, you know, we inserted the images in as well. So now we've got this spreadsheet created. Now we want to add a data connection. So to add a data connection, you click on data point up top, you see here, and then you go over to list. So you click on list. And once you do that, then another next screen will come up that, that asks you what kind of connection is it? Is it Microsoft Access, Microsoft SQL, MySQL, Oracle, etc., RSS? And in this case, because it is an Excel spreadsheet, we chose Excel. We clicked on Add Connection, and then it asks us to browse. So then we browse to where it is, and we click on OK. Next we want to add a query just to get the information out of the database. So we click, once we've loaded that particular spreadsheet or data source, we then click on the Add Query button over here and you see it creates a new query and then it shows within the Excel spreadsheet, it shows the data and then you choose how often do you want it to update, you know, once every 60 seconds, once every hour, only once whenever you open the menu and you also tick this if the first row contains field names. Once you've done this query, you'll see it will actually preview the data for you. So it actually shows the data you're picking up so you can make sure that it's all right. Now, how do we get that data into a text box? So what you do is you just click on the text box you want to connect. Once again, click on data point at the top of your PowerPoint and then click on text box. So this will give you a way to be able to connect it to. Once you've done that, uh, the data will show up here and then you can choose which row is that particular text box from so you can change it to row two or three and it will show you a preview down below so once you get the right the right column the right row in there you can uh, you can get it working so you choose your column in your row and once you do that for this little text box here it will automatically then update with the with the information so in future whenever you want to change it you just go back to the spreadsheet and you make that change So with DataPoint, now you can change your data source with the text, pricing, and even images, and it will automatically update on the menu board. Uh, with iPoint, uh, restaurant companies that have multiple locations can update one central file on their head office computer, and all of their locations across the country will update within minutes. Uh, you can even set up custom local menus with regional favorites. So uh, if there's certain areas of the country in the south, you might want a slightly different recipe than in the north. Uh, you can set that up as well. We're really proud that our plugins are used by many uh, top companies such as BMW, NASA, Coca-Cola, Microsoft, uh, US Air Force, uh, you know, a huge number, IKEA if you look at these, Electronic Arts. So these are all companies that are using our plugins for digital signage, menu boards, uh, etc. If you'd like more menu board help and tips, uh, visit presentationpoint.com. Thank you for listening.